Substitution and elimination reaction are typical reactions for alkyl halides. Here halogen act as leaving group and there is cleavage of carbon halogen bond in both substitution and elimination reaction. The carbon halogen bond is polar and due to difference in electronegativity there is partial positive charge on carbon atom which act as an electrophile. When a reagent which has power to give away electron pair which in other words is called a Lewis base is reacted with the alkyl halide which is called substrate. It may attack the partially positive charged carbon of the substrate. In that case the reagent act as a nucleophile or alternatively the reagent may behave as a Bronsted base and attack a hydrogen bonded to a carbon called beta carbon which is directly bonded to the carbon of the carbon halogen bond called alpha carbon. In the first case the leaving group is substituted by the nucleophile and the reaction is a substitution reaction. In the second case the reagent act as a base and react with the hydrogen of beta carbon. Then the electron pair of the CH bond of beta carbon interact with the empty orbital of the alpha carbon which has been created due to cleavage of carbon halogen bond to form a pi bond between alpha and beta carbon. This is called elimination reaction or beta elimination reaction. There are also leaving groups other than halogens. In order to get a good concept about substitution and elimination reaction in organic chemistry, first we should learn some important things before actually going into the subject. Nucleophiles, electrophiles and bases. Nucleophiles are species which may give away electron pair to form a new bond. Nucleophile means nucleus loving. We know that atomic nucleus is positively charged. Nucleophile may be an anion like chloride, bromide etc. or this may be a polar molecule like H2O, methyl alcohol, H2S etc. which have partial negative charge on an atom. Nucleophiles therefore may be termed as Lewis bases. Electrophiles are electron loving atoms which accept a pair of electrons to form a new bond which is part of a molecule and may have a formal positive charge on that atom that is it may be a cation or it may be a polar molecule having partial positive charge on an atom. The atom on which there is positive charge or partial positive charge is called the electrophilic site of the molecule. Electrophiles are therefore Lewis acids. Since all nucleophiles are Lewis bases, it may seem strange why we are discussing bases separately. This is because in case of elimination reaction we consider Bronsted bases as base and not Lewis bases. This means for such reactions bases are only those nucleophiles which attack only proton and no other electrophile. In substitution reaction nucleophile is the reagent and in elimination reaction base is the reagent. Basicity. Watch the following acid base reaction. This is a reversible reaction. We can measure how good the base is by looking at the equilibrium. Equilibrium is a matter of thermodynamics as we have already seen in my video on equilibrium. Ammonia is considered a weak base because this equilibrium has equilibrium constant much less than 1. Thus we may say that basicity is a thermodynamic property. We may also comment on basicity by looking at the conjugate acid. If the conjugate acid is strong then the base is weak and vice versa. Nucleophilicity In substitution reactions nucleophile attacks a carbon atom which is the electrophilic site. This reaction get completed and there is no such equilibrium stage because backward reaction is not feasible. Since there is no equilibrium there is no equilibrium constant from which we can judge the nucleophilicity that is how good the nucleophile is. So in order to judge we are solely dependent on reaction kinetics. Nucleophile which react quickly is considered as a good nucleophile and the nucleophile that reacts slowly is a bad nucleophile. Since we have to judge nucleophilicity from the reaction kinetics we may say that nucleophilicity is a kinetic property and we have already seen that basicity is a thermodynamic property. The reaction kinetics of substitution reaction depend on nucleophilicity of the nucleophile. A charged nucleophile is stronger than uncharged polar nucleophile. 
A nucleophile having donating electrons placed on a larger atom is stronger than a nucleophile having donating electrons placed on a smaller atom. Nucleophilicity also depends on the following two factors. Steric factor. Let us consider tertiary butyl chloride as the substrate molecule. Here we see that electrophilic site of the substrate where the nucleophile attacks during substitution reaction is not situated at the outskirts of the substrate molecule, but is situated inside the substrate molecule. Now watch these reagents which provide these nucleophiles. The hydroxide nucleophile is small in size and can easily attack the electrophilic site and gives the substitution product which is the major product. Methoxide ion is a larger nucleophile which cannot easily reach the electrophilic site. So the substitution product over here is not the major product. Methoxide ion also act as a base and elimination product is also formed. Tertiary butoxide ion is the largest nucleophile. Tertiary butoxide ion is such a weak nucleophile due to its large size that it will rather act as a base because base has to interact with a hydrogen atom which is normally situated at the outskirts of the substrate molecule. In this reaction elimination product is the major product. Solvation factor. Solvent used in substitution and elimination reaction greatly influence the nucleophilicity of reagents. Polar protic solvents like H2O and ROH tend to form hydrogen bond with nucleophile thereby reducing its nucleophilicity. On other hand, polar aprotic solvents like DMSO or dimethyl sulfoxide or DMF which is dimethyl formamide have the partial positive charge surrounded by bulky groups and cannot be bonded with the nucleophile. In contrary, the polar aprotic solvent molecules have partial negative charge on the outskirts of the solvent molecule, which readily bond with the cationic part of the reagent, making the anionic nucleophile more active. So polar protic solvents reduce nucleophilicity and polar aprotic solvents increase nucleophilicity.